Hey guys, so here's a quick video on structural engineering in SketchUp, and I wanted to start with a demo of the power of such a tool. Here you can see a very simple conceptual model of a high-rise with two floor plates that correspond to the lower floors, which are a little bigger, and then the higher floors, each with uh, the similar surface core. Now, when you create your building in such a format, then you can basically orient your floor plates in the vertical spacing you want for your tower. And these are actually components, and what I mean by components is any edit I make to one of the components uh, will have an effect on all similar components in the model. So here, when I select objects in the floor plate uh, that corresponds to the lower floor plates of the tower, you can see that making any sort of change will affect uh, the full model. You can think of the implications here, so if you create a column component, uh, say like a structural W14 member, start to model in your building and decide that later you want to switch it to W16, uh, you can easily change that in SketchUp. So let me show you the power of such a tool. Um, I've actually hidden some layers now, so I could show you that I've already created uh, some shear walls, which will outline the uh, interior core, and by modeling simply on both of these floor plates, uh, that change has been represented in the 3D conceptual model. I can also show the uh, basic steel frame that I've been creating. And right away you can see that uh, when you get to large complex models, you want to find ways in which you can create uh, reiterative elements so that you can make simple changes that have a big effect on the model without a big time crunch. So let's say I decided that uh, based on the loads, live loads of the building, I'm actually going to need more interior floor beams. So what I can do is um, go into a specific component. So actually one bay uh, is a component in itself. So if I want to change part of this and say I want to make one of those beams, move that over a little bit and add one more so that this is actually uh, interior floor beam at a spacing of every 10 feet instead of 15 feet. I just made about 10 seconds worth of change and I've already captured that change on the entire model. Similarly, let's say that I want to have a brace frame uh, running up the inside or running up the edges of, of this building. I can easily bring in a piece that I've made elsewhere and by putting it into the model, into one of these component floor plates, In just a few simple steps, I can make that change on the entirety of the building. So for the next couple of videos, I'll be showing you how to use components in this method. And especially if you're modeling structure on uh, SketchUp, maybe integrated with the architect who's giving you architectural models, then this is a great way to quickly make grid-like or structural components in SketchUp.